Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my 100% walkthrough of Fallout 4. I hope everybody's doing well. I know that I am. And today, we are going to make our way to the USS Constitution. So without further ado, let's get started. Also, we are in front of Bunker Hill. We're going to go straight down this road. Instead of taking a right or going straight, we're going to take a left. And our first stop is going to be the laundry mat to pick up a magazine. So let's take a left here. Laundry mat should be on our right side. Here we go. Let's go inside. Here's our magazine. Now this magazine Hell is yeah. just for new haircuts. It's not a big deal. Let's uh, continue. We're almost to the Constitution here, or the USS Constitution. Scanning. Accessing pre-war records. Record found. 108th Infantry Regiment, 2nd Battalion. Ahoy there. Tis Providence a member of the Congressional Army is delivered to us in our hour of need. I was in the Army, but what's the Congressional Army? Standing order, sir. Proclamation 3. All members of the U.S. Army are hereby members of the Congressional Army. The captain requests your presence on the bridge. At the double quick, sir. Let's make our way up top. You may now resume your. Okay. nothing but scrap metal pal give a word captain and i'll send them to davy jones locker <laughs> uh, is this for real threat detected awaiting permission to terminate target stand down that's an order and for god's sake use the access i captain standing down i absolutely love mccready's dialogue there Let's go top deck. Oh, any landing you can walk away from. There's gotta be I'll have none of your lip, Mr. Navigator. Have the crow's nest scan two points off the port bow. Jump to it. Aye, Captain. Our soldier has arrived. I trust the first mate didn't give you too hard a time. Been too long since we've seen the Congressional Army. First mate, Congressional Army? Why are you talking like that? This is the pride of our Navy, the USS Constitution. As her commander, it is my privilege to enforce a certain measure of decorum amongst my crew. Why are you even here on this ship? It's ancient. This vessel has more than once been the seat of our great nation's naval power. Is it not fitting she don this mantle again? And you're in charge here? What? As ordained by the chain of command links of which start with our most august admirals and plummet to the lowliest of sentry bots. 
After all our brothers in arms perished, I reluctantly assumed command. Your lookout told me to come up here. Why? I confess, we need your assistance. You visit this fine vessel in trying times. He called these long years on her airy perch. Damn you, Weatherby Savings alone! I spit at you. How did it even get up here? Oh, this should be good. A harrowing tale of that, there can be no doubt. Or I should say, I assume it is. I came upon her as she is, atop the Sargasso Sea of rubble and misfortune. What vexes me most is my inability to assist in the war effort. My gun decks have not but more rats and ne'er-do-wells as targets. Enough pleasantries. The Constitution has systems that need repairs to carry out its mission. If I help you, I expect part of the payment up front. What a singular request. Were you in the Navy, I would remind you of your oath. But as a soldier, I will authorize a performance bonus payable immediately. Consult with the ship's purser. Consult with the bosun and Mr. Navigator. They will relay your instructions. Dismissed. Look lively, lads. Scavengers approach. Soldier, man the cannons. Kill them only as a last resort. A few warning shots usually suffice to scare that rabble off. The cannons are ready. Fire at will. Our opponents have struck their colors. Leave this ship and never return. You're messing with the best! Should be one more, yep. Well, I guess more than one more. I will defend this vessel until my last breath. Just lighting up for me, aren't they? Talk to Mr. Navigator, wherever he is. Where is Mr. Navigator? Oh, well, we'll go down uh, below deck and then we'll come back. Defending the Constitution. Oh, he is below deck. Let's... Go talk to him real quick, actually. Patrolling. It'll be better if we talk to the navigator first, and then we, uh, well. do what Bozen wants us to do. Warning. Why is he down here? Minute. So weird. Ahoy, soldier. Scavenger threat eliminated. Damage assessment will commence after this unit has completed scheduled duties. Why did the scavengers attack? Scavengers have attacked ship... 17 times destroyed 13% of ship's systems. Stole 5% of ship's store. Logic error. Captain's orders authorize scavenger termination only if necessary to preserve the ship. If they've attacked you 17 times, why don't you fight back? This unit suggests captain's core processes in need of extensive maintenance. Guidance system offline. Multiple errors diagnosed. First error. Guidance chip stolen. This unit requires its return. Who stole your guidance chip? Guidance chip is one entry on the list of stolen items. Reclaim chip at Scavenger's forward recon station. Captain has approved a bounty for its return. 
Lethal force is prohibited unless absolutely necessary. Aft dinghy unlocked and available for your use, sir. Now that we have that mission, let's go back up top here and talk to Bozen and help him out. We have a few things that we got to do for him. And with Bozen, uh, he's going to want us to go grab some stuff. We're just going to jerry-rig it because we're lazy. You all might not be lazy, but I am. Your very presence does this humble unit a great honor. My programming would find it amiss if I did not also interject. Long live the captain! Do you often just interject, as you put it? Indeed I do. I exclaim from exuberance. And not because I've been reprogrammed five times to wholeheartedly embrace these marvelous turns of phrase and, and acronyms. My metal heart burns with a fierce love and affection for our captain. Huzzah! Why were you reprogrammed? Was the captain involved? I will confide this only as a cautionary tale. The captain requires all crew to speak in the proper idiom. We are the inheritors of a sacred tradition. There was a time I thought he was, well, balmy. With my new programming, I see his incalculable wisdom. Our last marine expedition valiantly returned with much needed supplies, including replacement power cables, sir. Alas, with my severe lack of appendages, I find myself unequal to the task of repairing the cables myself. Can't someone else repair it? The rest of this crew is programmed for more martial pursuits, and they are, dare I say, useless in this endeavor. Oh, were I hale and hearty, but fate is a cruel mistress. How'd you lose your arms? They were stolen from me in their prime, with a full two centuries left on their warranty. The scavenger scum blasted them off me as I valiantly defended our ship systems. With the ship surgeon still with us. The ship had a surgeon? What happened to him? Sadly, he is no longer with us. Another casualty in our thrice cursed war with the scavengers. He's passing. He's a terrible loss. Look around. The captain's vision brought us here, but it was the surgeon who rebuilt the Constitution. Now it falls to us to carry on his work. Once you have resolved this matter, I beseech you to return to me to accept my undying gratitude. Let's just pick up the wires because we can. We're going to open up the lid and then jerry rig the uh, salvage replacements. Of course, McCready. Of course you would. Patrolling. Let's talk to Bosun again. Bosun. How? Of course it's through the Constitution's veins. Again! Her systems. Long starved. Flick out her life. <laughs> A hearty congratulation. Huzzah! However, this has brought to light further failures in our power grid. The power relay, to my shame, I previously complained about is fluctuating wildly. Why are you ashamed of that? Back from around, sir, there were dark times. But I made all manner of baseless complaints against the captain. The manner in which his ship is run and the plausibility of our sacred mission. But now, I see the error of my ways. And with your help, perhaps I can atone. Power relay coils are a common enough part. Might I recommend checking the local shopkeeps? Surely, they would be of some assistance. Fair winds and following seas. 
So if you want to, you can go buy some power relay coils. Um, you can usually find them at uh, Bunker Hill. But again, I'm lazy and I'm going to jerry rig this. Defending the Constitution. Let's talk to Bozen again. Hey, Bozen. Power flows far and steady. I would applaud you, but alas, I cannot due to my lack of clapping instruments. But huzzah, sir, huzzah. So no more problems with the power? Area one. It flows like a veritable torrent through our cables. If I may say so, the surgeon would be proud. I require no further assistance. But our Mr. Navigator is also beset by troubles. Scuttle buddies, our guidance system is on our last legs. If you've not already, speak to him. Fare thee well. Let's go to the top deck and we're going to take the uh, dinghy down and uh, go grab the guidance chip. Well, any landing you can walk away from. This would be a great spot to bunker down. Loot all this stuff. Nice. That's not bad. We're splitting all that, right? We're just gonna loot a few of these guys. We don't have to loot everybody. Let's go talk to this lady. <clears throat> don't shoot! Those assholes didn't attack the ship on our orders. They weren't trying to frag ya anyhow. They just wanted to kill the frickin' robots. So they were scavengers, but not with you. Well, they were kind of with us. I mean, we're not really used to working together. It's not like anyone is in charge. But we do have an agreement. Everyone works together, gets an equal share. When you waltzed aboard the ship, those assholes just kind of lost it. They broke our agreement and paid for it. How did you get aboard anyway? We thought you were going to get cratered for sure. He knew I was an army veteran, so he let me on the ship. Army? Isn't that some old world mumbo jumbo? Whatever. So. You got to see the inside, huh? All that salvage, the real mother load, just waiting to be stripped and sold. Is all the junk inside really that valuable? Well, yeah, we could keep Diamond City in parts for months with all them gizmos. We'd never have to scrounge in the gutter again. So you talked with a tin can. What'd he have to say? We talked about a lot of things. Let me guess. He wants his computer chip back, right? Well, too bad. It's our salvage now. You know what he needs it for? His rockets. The huge goddamn rockets on the side of his boat. He's nuts. I'm sure there's a good reason he needs them. You seriously want to help that idiot bolts for brains? Screw that robot and come work with us. There's dozens more of us nearby. It's only a matter of time before we come out on top. I'm not splitting my share with him. You holding out on us, Davies? You got some magical way in there? This guy's got a free ticket aboard, so shut up. Help us destroy that freaking tin can once and for all. What's in it for me? What do you think? The tin can's gonna pay you? Maybe in some freaking doubloons? Stick with us and you'll be rolling in caps. So you in or out? Yeah, I'm in. What's the plan? Yeah, that ship is basically the last train to Crazy Town. That's the right call. I've been working this claim for months. 
Like hell, I'm letting this greenhorn take any of my caps. We got no choice. We need him, Davies. We need to sabotage those rockets. If they blow up, that'll put those frigging cannons offline. So if you find any rocket parts for the tin can, give them to me first. Then Davies will make some special improvements. I repaired the ship's power systems. Is that going to be a problem? Power systems? That won't do nothing. Closest we ever got to screwing him over is grabbing their guidance chip. And if we tinker with that, then who knows where the ship will land if it takes off. We need to sabotage the rocket itself. They're super complicated, easy to break. He's got to be missing some parts. The guidance chip is in one of the filing cabinets inside. You better not renege on our deal. It would be better for all of us if you just leave. Okay, so we're really not going to help out the um, scavengers. And the reason why is because they screw us over no matter what. Like, even if we help them, they end up screwing us over and then trying to kill us. So, screw them. Lucky us, we know they're going to screw us over anyways. Let's put the guidance chip in and then I guess we're going to have to go back down below deck and talk to fucking Mr. Navigator. Oh, no, he's up here. Mr. Navigator. Ahoy, soldier. Chip recovered. Dispensing bounty. Diagnostics report. One error remaining. Guidance radar's transmitter is non-functional. Requires replacement. What's wrong with the transmitter? Diagnostic inconclusive. No functioning Mr. Handy's available for detailed analysis. Acquire Poseidon radar transmitter at specified map coordinates. Further bounty will be dispensed upon completion, sir. Again, we're going to fix this with our science. If your science is not high enough, um, you can get the part fairly close by, but let's go ahead and jerry-rig it. Mr. Navigator. Ahoy, soldier. Guidance system fully functioning. Bounty dispensed. It is required. You commence dialogue with the captain, sir. Now we're going to talk with Captain Ironsides. Captain Ironsides. You've been of service to our noble vessel. I am pleased you recovered the guidance chip without bloodshed. Though the scavengers have caused us grievous injury... Our goals must be nobler than base revenge. Why did you want me to spare the scavengers? I confess they are a blight upon my existence. Those scallywags killed many of my marines. We're down to a skeleton crew due to that filth. But they are citizens of the Commonwealth. Citizens we're pledged to protect against foreign incursion. Which is not without its irony. I find I must reward your considerable efforts with the final labor. We stand but a hair's breadth away from embarking on our sacred mission. So now can you tell me what's going on? Complete this task and I will gladly relate our mission. Until then, silence, vigilance. The ship requires turbo pump bearings from a nearby factory. It will undoubtedly be a dangerous mission, but I have faith you will succeed. So we have the captain's quarters key. We're not going to use it just yet. We're going to come over here to the map. We need to go to the Corvega assembly plant. We've already been there. Real early into the walkthrough, we went to the Corvega assembly plant. So let's go ahead and just fast travel. There's no sense in us walking all the way there. I'll see everybody there. We're going to crouch. So this is going to be extremely easy. 
for obvious reasons. We're in a very low level area. Guess I missed him. Or her, or whatever. Looks like a female. Yep. Let's go inside. You picked the wrong day to piss me off. And we're just essentially going to navigate our way through the dungeon. Or dungeon <laughs> the Corvega assembly plant I guess it's a sort of dungeon this is gonna be fun. <laughs> and a fallout way find anything useful on them nope not at all McCready it's all mine ah! who's there Nothing there now. Nothing there now. Think? I don't know. When you turn up, I'm jumping in shadows. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, you're probably right. You gotta cut down on. Come on out. I'll make it nice. Stick out the spotlight first. You can trust me. Take out the turret. There's another spotlight over here as well. Oh my god. <laughs> Just kept missing her. And then we have the turbo pump bearings. Creedy's all up in the way. Um, no. I thought that was a part of the... There's a part of the turret. Scared, huh? Let's go outside, and then we're going to fast travel back to the USS Constitution. So because we're in caution, we can still fast travel. If we're in danger, we can't, but we're in caution. Let's go ahead and fast travel to the U.S. Constitution. I'll see everybody there. U.S.S. Constitution. My bad. Well, any landing you can walk away from. We'll take the dinghy up top. And then we will go below deck. Oh, going the wrong way. It is an honor to crew such a story. That's all. There is a U.S. covert operations manual. Nice. We want that. Now let's go ahead and return to Iron Sides. Ah, uh, Jeez, Iron Sides. Well, any landing you can walk away from. Ah, oh, we've got to see what's inside this place. Trim the power on the starboard bow. Steady as she goes, Mr. Navigator. Luck willing at long last we'll set sail. And our hero of the hour is to thank. You've earned a double share, sir. Well done. Set sail? On the eve of our voyage, the need for secrecy is long past. Our twin NX-42 rockets will alight and then moor us from this dreaded savings unknown. 
the Constitution will launch into the heavens and after gently land in the ocean. Then we take our rightful place as defenders of the Atlantic. You're going to what? A thing of brilliance, is it not? Mr. Navigator, put her through her paces. We need to... Those motherless colors! Prepare to broadside! Our opponents have struck their colors. Traitor, you hide in me! Do not think that diminishes my resolve. <laughs> we missed every shot. That's lame. Somebody's got a rocket launcher down there. See a fucking thing. <laughs> Let's just heal up just to be safe. God, that's the only thing I cannot stand about vats is why you're trying to shoot somebody. It's just like, I don't know. I'm gonna stop complaining about vats. I don't, it's not necessary to use. I'm just using it because it's really hard to see these guys. <laughs> Damn it, man. There's so many. <laughs> oh, another legendary, huh? All right, that was weird. Do not attempt to flee. Justice will be swiftly and fairly. Let's go talk to Ironsides again. Maybe. Excuse me, sir. Please clear the area until order has been restored. If gods be good, the scavenger assault has been broken. Not one of those scallywags stepped foot on our vessel. All hands, prepare ship for launch. You're still going through with this? Given time, the scavengers will regroup. It may be now or never. We need power from the auxiliary generator to commence our voyage. I fear I must call upon you one last time. I've come this far. I recognize that without your considerable efforts, we would not be here. Here is your amply deserved reward. God speed to you, sir. The broadsider is a really cool weapon. Um, I never really use it unless it's like after I've beaten the game and I'm running around <laughs> shooting people with cannonballs. Uh, that's usually fun. But overall, mm, not really a weapon that you're going to use very often. Let's go up here. There was a couple legendaries over here somewhere. There's one. We'll just loot some bodies here real quick. No sense in not. There's the other. Ugh. All right. I didn't get good legendaries, but that's okay. The last legendary I killed um, had decent uh, armor to give us. I was trying to think. Was it a weapon or was it armor? Just keep going up the stairs. And then eventually you'll come to the top here, and we're gonna uh, flip the switch. It's the final countdown. Navigator, light the engengines. Uh, savings and lower 
mean you can walk away from it. Jeez, a century? Okay. Um, if you want, you can go back to the USS Constitution. It's over by Faneuil Hall. Um, take the elevator up. You can get a hat from uh, yeah. Ironsides. I personally don't find it um, useful or I don't really like it. <laughs> so I'm not going to go over there. Uh, but everybody else is more than welcome. Let's go downstairs. Um, everybody over here is dead except for a few other people. We're not going to bother going over there. There's just no reason. I just want to finish up looting real quick. And then let's put a level in. And I think what I want to do is go over to um, Cambridge Police Station. Because what we're going to do is help out the Brotherhood of Steel next and get that done. So let's go over to Cambridge Police Station now and then we'll end the video. So it wants us to report to Paladin Dance. We're not going to do that just yet. We're actually going to oh, end the video. Of steel. The day couldn't get any better. We probably won't be having McCready with us when we do uh, the Brotherhood of Steel stuff. He doesn't really get along with the Brotherhood of Steel, and I don't blame him. With that all being said, I would like to tell everybody thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe. And like always, everybody... Have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.